The multi-screen module allows you to have multiple screens and have ProPresenter present to all of them and actually even put different content on all of those different screens. Now this utilizes the Matrox dual head to go or triple head to go depending on if you want two different screens or three different screens. And so again, this is for a two and three screen setup where you'd have two side screens and a center screen or just two side screens or screens right next to each other and you want to present video content or lyrics or whatever across those different screens. Now to have this work correctly, again, you need a Matrox dual head to go or triple head to go. First, you need to make sure your computer is working with those devices before you even go inside ProPresenter. So make sure that device is working, make sure you can present out of that Matrox dual head or triple head to go. Um, one really important thing is that you only use a USB cable under six foot in length, and I think there's a USB cable that comes with it, so only use that USB cable or else you may run into different issues. So let's check out how this multi-screen module works. So now assuming that you have your triple head to go working on your computer, we can now go inside ProPresenter and we're gonna go up to preferences and the first thing we need to do is change our display resolution. Assuming that you're doing three four by three screens that are 1024 by 768, you'd need a resolution of 3,072 you'd need a resolution of 3072 by 768. Now I don't have that much resolution on my computer, so I'm gonna do 1280 and we're gonna do by 320 to display what this looks like. So we'll hit update after we do that, and you'll see that we now have our super wide display, which is basically three four by three screens. So now if I click on a background here, you'll see that our background shows up and it fills all the way across, and then I can throw text on, but this is where our first issue comes into play. Our text only displays on the center portion of the screen. I would actually have to format this slide and write text all the way across or duplicate the text multiple times to get it to show up on these different screens. And that's where the multi-screen module comes in handy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to ProPresenter, go down to Preferences, we're gonna go down to modules and we can actually demo all of these modules. These are an additional cost to ProPresenter so you can demo them to check them out before you buy them. So I'm gonna hit demo modules and hit okay. And we're gonna to go to the multi-screen settings that now showed up. I'm gonna enable and you can choose from triple head or dual head to go. I'm gonna do a triple head to go. And in here you'll see a few different things. So I'm gonna go back to display and just hit update so we can see what our text looks like. We'll go back to multi-screen, so now you can see we have our three different pieces of text there. Now, I could actually tile the video instead of stretching it, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna tile it, and we can easily see and distinctly see where those three different screens are. So in here are all the different layers, and we can choose which one of these layers gets displayed on which screen. So we can say, do we want props on left, center, or right, slides, video and image, live video, and DVD. Now one note about DVDs is DVDs are only allowed to be played back on one screen at a time, and this is a limitation of DVDs and not of ProPresenter. So we can go in here and we can mess around and get these all set up. We can also go down to actions and we can go to multi-screen commands and we can actually use these hotkeys to change where text shows up, is, is it tiled or not, all of these different things, and uh, we can use these multi-screen commands. But an easier way to do this is to use different setups. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a new setup and I'm gonna name this Live on Sides. And now we can go through and this setup is gonna be different than our other setup. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna say that we want our slides to be on all screens. We want our video and images only to be on the center screen and you'll see an update over there. And we're gonna put live video on the left and the right only. We also, just in case we would throw a props layer up, we'll put props on center. And then we also have the ability to apply specific templates to our slides, which allow us to put lower thirds for our live video and regular for our text. So I'm gonna go under here, I'm gonna to go to my custom template group that I created, and I'm gonna say I want my lower third text there, I want my regular normal text in the center, and again, I want my lower third for my other screen. And we can make as many different setups as we possibly want. So now I can close this out, 
And in Osmos awesome the Lord Most High, I'm gonna right click on this first slide and to apply a multi-screen setup, I'm just gonna go down and go to add multi-screen setting queue and I'm gonna do live on sides. And it's added this little icon here that's saying that there's a multi-screen queue. Now the next thing we need to do is add a live video queue because we're going to have live video on the screen. So now when I click on this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show live video on the slides and it's gonna format all my text appropriately for me. So we'll click on this. Again, you can see me, I'm waving over here with my live video. We'll pull this up full screen for us. And you can see here that we have our lower third text here and then we have our center screen text and our slides. And we can click to the next side here and we can click through and you can see how easily and well this works. So again, the multi-screen setup can be very cool. You can do tons of different things with it, but again, you need to get your triple head to go or dual head to go working before you go inside ProPresenter. Make sure that's working first. And again, if you wanna buy those devices, go check out the Renewed Vision store to buy those devices or to buy this module.